Greetings. Welcome to Coogee Marina in West Australia. We had to move the boat from Fremantle, mainly because it's just too expensive. For a 12 metre pen in Fremantle, if you pay quarterly, it's $10,300 a year. Here there's no penalty for paying uh, quarterly or half yearly and it's $6,700. So here we are, We're about four kilometres south of Fremantle. We've done a bit of work and uh, I'll show you around in a second and if you're wondering about the hat and the sunglasses uh, the sun in West Australia is really potent and I'll explain why in a minute just to show you some of the work that we've done the solar panels there for the uh, battery that's the one on the left there and the one up top there which is a 250 watt that's for the house batteries well, house battery. We've got a, a large house battery, and we've also put a uh, a shade cover on here. Uh, so let me explain. Get the uh, lens cover out of the pocket. Um, skin cancer. So pretty potent thing here in WA, West Australia that is. Oh, I got two pairs of glasses. <laughs> um, just had surgery uh, twice. Got to go back once more. Um, on the side of my head is a cut. It was a tiny little black mark. Came about two months ago. About three weeks after it sort of started, it got bigger and bigger. Went to the doctor, skin cancer. So they cut it out from here and then down to there. And then he said, you've got a tiny little dot on your nose. It's about two millimeters, eighth of an inch. So said, let's take a sample of that. And that was skin cancer as well. Actually melanoma, both were proper melanoma. So it was two millimeters in the center of my nose. By the time they finished, it was the size of my thumbnail they took out. So to close it up, they had to cut from here, down the side and across really funny anyway so skin cancer take it seriously what I want to talk about is some products you buy off eBay from China from places like Aliexpress or direct from eBay itself I bought these float switches sea flow we only uh, put the uh, house battery in two months ago and these were put in and connected two months ago and the other day I came down and the bilge pump's constantly on, so already after two months, failed. These were $17. So what I did, I went to our local uh, marine shop and bought a water witch. I think it's called a water witch? Yeah, they're about $95 versus $17. So junk off eBay. <laughs> Another thing, macerator pump for the holding tank. This one is a Aquatrack professional grade pump. Now it draws 12 amps at 12 volts. After putting a 25 amp fuse in, it blew that. Putting a 30 amp fuse in, it blew that. So I took the pump apart. There's actually nothing inside here. It's, it's all okay. It's in as new condition. So we still, I've still got one more check to do to find out whether it's totally cactus or not. And this was brand new. We only used it once. We installed this, oh, I installed it about four months ago but actually only used it a couple of weeks ago for the first time and then last week when we shifted the boat we thought well we'll empty out the holding tank and again uh, didn't work so so what I'm going to do now is uh, I don't have any six mil wire to connect here or any connectors I'm going to connect it directly to the battery with a uh, 30 amp uh, 12 volt switch see if it works see if it sucks and if it's all okay then I'm going to reinstall it with a, a different switch because it could be that the switch that we used is not capable of handling the, the heavy amps, the 12 or 15 amp initial draw that they, they do. So that's another thing. So that's uh, some of the products you buy. So, <laughs> and there's no warranty or guarantee on these 12 months electrical goods in Australia. So, but because it's off eBay, it's just uh, best luck. So yeah, that's where we're up to. Um, what else? Um, not really much else. I've made a little box up here to cover the hatch. The hatch slides in and out. 
and it was completely open so what I did is I made a cover over it um, I've made another box over here which is a temporary one I'll, I'll, I'll get up and I'll show it to you that's this one here that lifts on and off what it is is because we've got a bulkhead steering there I decided to uh, make a box and I've got a, a molded seat at home which I've uh, sort of adapted and that'll literally sit on the top here and then it will swing around so that should be good and because when we came down here the other day because we basically moved the boat for the first time uh, it was very difficult standing up for the you know couple of hours whoops where's the camera gone I'll try and move it back so there we go so so that's basically where we're up to <coughs> Um, I'll take you quickly downstairs and just show you some of the electronic panels, so bear with me. Here we are actually, take two. The first one didn't quite work, it was out of focus. I'm just showing you the portholes. These are called Manship portholes. We bought four of these. In the US apparently they're about 560 US dollars. And uh, here in Australia I managed to get the uh, four of them uh, for... Um, what it was it? Uh, 750 and there's one, one there. Let me just adjust the focus a bit. Another one there. And down here, let me see about a meter, about a meter here. Yeah. Down here, we were putting in this uh, just a, a window <laughs> and uh, they, they said they would sell us the acrylic which was clear so we cut it all we did everything put it on and then waited till it dried pulled the paper off and it was frosted but luckily I went back and complained and on this side he gave us uh, a clear one so there we go and just down here in our nav area we've just sort of started putting some stuff in Let's have a look if it's in focus. Yeah, there we are. We've got uh, a Morning Star charger. That's for the 250 watt solar panel. The little one above it there is a, uh, uh, for the, yeah, that's a 30 amp solar charger. That one's a 10 amp solar charger. That little thing up there is a USB fusion radio. And then uh, hol holding tank, um, which is about just under half at the moment or something just like that we haven't got the uh, other electrical bits in yet which would go about there so we're still working on those but we managed to get some sort of electrics in I'll just take you through to the bathroom and here we are in the head area got an opening port there uh, we've got like a little storage area there that drops down the sink down there we haven't got the tap in yet uh, I think in America they call it a faucet don't they here we call it a tap and then uh, an another sort of cabinet down there to storage WC and then uh, behind that sort of panel area there is more storage although we haven't put a uh, opening in there is a shelf in there I just haven't done that yet so that's what it looks like in there and there's a switch for the lights and uh, down on the bottom here this is all being waterproofed and epoxied haven't quite finished but just about there there's a drain which goes to the, uh, the, the shower sump so yeah that's what it looks like in there now I'll do the galley area a bit before I move to the galley area just want to show you the door it's sort of got jarrah which is a hardwood with teak in the middle there and that's where we're going to put the handle on that side over there and it's got sort of white laminex on this side going up there and it's uh, head height clearance I think it's about six foot three or four something like that yeah now I was just going to show you a little bit of this this is our Vitfrigo fridge I think they put these in uh, Benito's or something, so it's uh, got all sorts of goodies in there at the moment, half empty actually, but yeah it's a great fridge, and what we did is when we installed it, we put two inches of urethane 
on the sides, the top, the back and the bottom. And uh, the motor part, which is, is actually separate, is in here in the actual wardrobe. So that's pretty cool. And I'll just show you these again. Got the big drawers here. So, and uh, all the cupboards, all that sort of thing. Yeah, so, um, oh yeah, and sink, of course, sink. Here we've got the sink and everything. Windows. And we've got the upholstery on the side here. We, we um, did this white vinyl on top of this white sort of PVC to make it look pretty. So yeah, so uh, that's basically what we've done. And uh, as I mentioned before about that little electric motor, I had a plan and uh, it, as you can see I'm wearing something different from the other day. And that's because uh, I took three lots in here and it was out of focus. So I've just come back down today and it's Friday. Oh, it's about, what is it, about the uh, 12 or 13, 14, something. But we just rewired that little 12 volt macerator pump um, direct to the buzz bars and then, uh, well, to some, to some buzz bars that are in the forward cabin here. And again, it, it just doesn't work, doesn't suck, doesn't do nothing. It just goes, just stops, that's it. So, And I checked the voltage, there's 13.4 volts there. So. So we're going to scrap that either by a rule, which is in Australia, $2.99 uh, or we might get a, a hand pump, I still haven't made up my mind. Other than that, that's really where we are at the moment. Um, nothing else really, so that's it. So um, you'll see me in a minute talking outside wearing a different top. <laughs> okay, see ya. So, so if you're wondering, what this is just to stop a bit of breeze it's actually uh, I think it's October 7th which is a Sunday so the 8th yeah the 8th and um, normally we have the boat show on but the boat show was actually two weeks ago in a different location to what it normally was last year on the boat show this this particular weekend it was 30 to 32 degrees Celsius I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit but probably around the mid 80s or 80 so it's quite warm but now it's actually about 20 degrees with a bit of a cold wind blowing although it's a completely blue sky out there so other than that uh, I've just been catching up on things and doing some of the wiring putting some lights in and all that sort of thing and uh, we're just about ready so we can start using the boat although the anchor winch is totally cactus the gearbox is seized and uh, so I wrote to uh, Nielsen in New Zealand and they said look it's 50 years old time for a new one so uh, a new one is about 2200 a Maxwell 8 millimeter chain is about 2200 here and the dinghy we've got a Sirocco uh, dinghy it's made from Orca Hyperlon which should last us about 10 years and uh, we don't have an outboard yet but we're looking at a little 5 horsepower um, Honda that's it, which comes with a seven year warranty, unbelievable, and about $1,800 Australian. So, so okay, well, I'll probably do another video in about another month or so. Why not? I haven't done any for a long time, so for those who are interested, yeah, so take it easy, have a great one, and uh, see you again. <laughs>